everybody today is february 1st 2023 it is black history month and i am so so happy because i am a sponsor of and participating in dp for black history month with blunts and gems tonight uh we will be going live to kick off that event so i hope to see you there I am working on a canvas uh, of prints, and it is something that I got from one of the cheapy shops, uh, which Amazon, uh, AliExpress, something like that. Um, for me, 2023 is the year of get, em, get her done, and that means that those diamond paintings that I purchased uh, when I first started, I'm going to try to get those done. A lot of those are uh, double-sided adhesive, which I totally and wholly can't stand. You probably can see the rivers and bubbles, although I went through this canvas <laughs> a couple days ago to try to get all of those out, but I'm just going to have to work as I go. Um, so I, like I said, I'm working on prints. I plan on doing two diamond paintings for that event because they're pretty small. This one in particular measures 35 by 45 and that's probably the entire canvas size. Uh, but those, a lot of those, uh, pictures I purchased for, uh, different people. So family and friends. So I'm going to try to get those done, get them out of the way and get them to their rightful owners or intended owners. That being said, let's start diamond painting. Um, so on my channel for this month, one of the things that I would like to do is, um, uh, present you with black history facts. I have been collecting black history facts for years and whether I collected them from a video that I saw on YouTube or I something I saw on Facebook or uh books that I have that's what I plan on doing um for you guys this month I don't know if I am going to primarily kind of give you some shorts on it but that'll be part of it because your girl starting a new job, as you probably know from prior videos, and I am trying to get a handle on that role, so that's been my focus. So, um, I am the assistant director of nursing of a particular facility, and there's a lot going on. Like yesterday, I think I got there at around 7.30. Rightfully, I should have been leaving at 4. I was going to leave at 4.30. But at about 4.15, <laughs> discovered that one of our residents were, was missing and he had been gone per the camera since noon. And we just found that out. So I ended up staying much later that I would have liked. And I'm hoping that nothing like that um, happens today when I um, should be doing Sam's event. Um, I'm going to keep my commentary about Black History uh, Month really short in this video because those are some of the things that I'm going to talk about uh, when I'm on the live tonight with Sam. But uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? You know, I start out the year planning and I'm going to have this video and that video. But honestly, I have really been exhausted <laughs> so you know i get up at um three something the god is trying to tell you something hour of the day and so i get on up and start getting my day started so by the time i get home from work 4 30 5 o'clock i'm seriously tired and i might watch a couple videos um and then i'm exhausted for the most part um yeah, I, I've just been sleeping through. I might go to sleep when I get home, wake up at 11.45, and then um, just try to go back to sleep, and then I'm up again at 3. So it's been one, and I have to get used to um, to what I'm doing now. So that's okay. That's really okay. I don't know why this is going out. Um but with that said, I'm enjoying my job, y'all. 
Um, I was supposed to get this whole fantastic orientation for four weeks. At least that's what I was told during the interview process. And that didn't happen. I'm looking to check, guys, because my screen just went out on my iPad. And I'm making sure that it does not go out on my phone because I'm using my phone for B-roll in this video recording. So I'll be doing that every now and again. But like I said, I'm enjoying the role. Um, I'm enjoying the title. I'm enjoying the checks, y'all. <laughs> That's for real, for real. Um, my car is holding up. You know, I bought a new car and I did not buy a new car, which is new for me. I bought a used vehicle when I bought the car. Um, it wasn't bad anyway. Um so that's holding up. I do need to get a new tire. And I was running, you know, the tire pressure was low. So um, I tried to put some air in it. But then it said that um, I was reading a tire trying to figure out, you know, what the air pressure should be. And it was like no air. So I'm assuming it's a run flat tire, which now means that my little tail got to buy a tire. Now, I don't know what year it was when I had my Lexus, but my daughter was going to college and she's in her 30s now. I had driven or went to her school one time and I got, you know, the same thing, low tire pressure. And it was a run flat tire. And back then those tires were like $700. <laughs> So it's probably in that amount and that's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue is that I'm lazy and um, I should have took it last weekend to get it repaired, but um, I'm probably going to try to see if I can get that done this coming weekend. So that's a thing, but that's basically all that's been going on. Um, you know, I find as I do these older canvases that I end up having to sell them because of popping drills. And I'm hoping, you know what, it doesn't even matter. If I have to sell it, I have to seal it. And um, that's just what it is. But you know, as we start out, we don't know these things. We just see all the things that we want and we purchase them. Which reminds me, I need to do a video on, um, so you want a diamond paint, huh? <laughs> and the do's and don'ts and what you should and shouldn't do. Um, uh, let's see. Nothing really going on, um, you know, since dad. I don't have that to report. But um, my mom was lucky enough to get in this program where they came and went to rise her home and she got like a new air conditioner or a new furnace, a new hot water tank. They sealed all kinds of stuff. Um, and then yes, the other day, apparently the shower knob broke. It broke on the inside or something. So they uh, came out. I think that was under her homeowner's warranty or whatever. It's not a new home, but it's that ex extra warranty that you get where they pay for your appliances and what have you. So um, they fixed that. And I think they only like charge 85 bucks every time they come out. And the weird thing was that um, they had just come out like a couple weeks before for her dryer so that being said um everything is uh copacetic i ended up what did i end up doing i ended up winning a free reading from my beloved psychic tammy and i have been with tammy for years and years see that just went out again i'm gonna have to change my screensaver timer and that one is doing okay anyway i've been with tammy for years and years and i had a really good reading um she saw marriage in my future she um also saw me with these children and i'm telling you it's been 
15 plus years that I've been with her at every reading, she always tells me that I am going to uh, see some kids being abused and that I'm going to take custody of these kids. And I was telling her, I'm like, Tammy, you tell me that every time. But at the end of the day, I'm like, girl, I'm getting old. These kids better come on because she was like three, four, seven, ten. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, I ain't got the energy for all that, but I'm sure that I am the one that is not going to stand by and um, see something happen to a kid. And if I can, I am going to do. Um, along with that, um, she also said that um, this, this person that I'm going to meet is going to be uh, my soulmate actually and I'm like well wow um that's a good thing I'm not out here looking and she said well that's how it happens and so um that's what it is so I'll be keeping the one side of that out for that I'm not in a hurry but um when it comes it's gonna come when it should right it'll come when it comes so that's a good thing and some of these things that she tells me i know that it's true because she'll add on um another piece to it like she'll say um like in this instance she said um what she tell me oh she said that the re the way that I'm going to know is because when I meet him, he's going to make me laugh. And in my laughter, I'm going to think about what she said and I'm going to know that it's him. She also said um, the other sign that I'm going to get that it's him is that, you know, we're going to be somewhere and I'm going to be pulling out my wallet and he's going to look at me like I got two heads and be like, um, if you don't put that away and she said, you're not going to be used to that because you are used to just pulling out your wallet. Now, I have not been out socially with Tammy like that. I have not divulged that information to her. But that's the thing with me. I'm quick to say, oh, I got it. I got it. You know, and um, she said he ain't going for it. He like, uh -uh, babe, I'm here for, me, for you. And she said, I'm going to be taking a little bit of back because I'm not used to that and and that's the truth um i'm you know that independent woman <laughs> that do my own thing but she told me to sit back and enjoy the ride so that's what i'm gonna try to do um one of the other things that i wanted to do was to start back with my car vlogs but it's been cold cold here right um and i don't think it's gonna warm up too late next week um and i need to mount my um phone holder on my dash because the one that i have that goes on the vent is giving me hella trouble and i'm you know i don't want to do that so i'm gonna mount the part to on the vent because i have a part to, to i mean on the dash because i have that piece to it i just never did it but i want to wait till it warms up a bit plus um when i leave it's dark so there would be really no light so that'll probably have to wait um until you know the time change or the sun rises a little earlier um i you i'm not really supposed to be there until um eight o'clock but i'm up so if i'm up and i'm have done a little bit of diamond paint. I've got my um, vibration at where it needs to be and I'm feeling good in the morning. There's no reason for me to sit here. Plus, I need to organize uh, a lot of the things. I'm sorry about this. I'm going to have to cut my string thing down. Um, yeah, and but it's weird because this never does this or never did it before. It just would play through. Um, but I'm going to have to that screen save time. I'm going to have to change the time on that. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so it's dark. And I don't like to just sit around in the house just sitting here because I've done my meditation for the day. No, <laughs> you know, you're going to be staying you <laughs> for so long. So 
um, other things that she has told or trained me on, I have to get in that mode. I also have to get together my routine that I'm going to do for the week. Um, one of the things that I'm really looking forward to at the job is we had a survey and we had a survey that lasted an entire month. They just gave us the final report uh, yesterday and it was not spectacular uh to say the least um only it's not that many things that has to do with the nursing department so we're going to get those all together right but i never had the opportunity to meet the staff in its entirety and give them my expectations but um they need to know that change is a coming and the reality is that this is not a skilled nursing facility it is for mental health so those things that um, nurses do um, for acute patients or patients with um, real disease processes, um, they really um, don't have to do them there. There is no, um, you know, consistent ADLs that need to be done, anything like that. So to not have your stuff done, for me, it's a problem because if this facility was to close for any given reason, then um, you're going to have to go somewhere and you're going to have to work your butt off. You're going to do way more than what you're doing now. So that's one of the things that I want to present to them. I understand that we get comfortable in what it is we do, but at the same time, um, I don't come in and do your work. And right now, that's what the... Um, director of nursing she comes in if something's not done she completes it and like she said she's just been doing it because at one point they were short staffed and she was helping them out but then the more you help them out the less they do right so um that being said um yeah change is coming and basically if you are gonna you got two things that you can do as things change then um you can roll with the punches and go with the flow because nothing ever stays the same or you can get an attitude and sulk about it and have something to say in which event um the door opens both way in and out get the step in because I have my own responsibilities, one of which is um, being the infection preventionist. So, of course, with COVID and other um, viruses that are out here, RSV and other things, they now got this super gonorrhea, whatever it is. Uh, those are the things that I monitor, I track, I report to the state. Um, I monitor antibiotics to the point where um, I have to know specific antibiotics that are used for the patients so that if they've been on this regimen for, let's say, a week, I need to be um, contacting the medical doctor and saying, hey, let's stop, let's take a look, let's get some laughs, let's see how it's progressing, maybe we can change because part of my antibiotic stewardship is to try to decrease the resistance to those antibiotics that we have, um, that we're currently using so that they work. So we wanna make sure that we have what's work and we have those people on it the minimum amount of time so that we can do our part to um, stop the multi-drug resistant organisms from um, becoming more prolific. Now that I just talked nurse ease, <laughs> let's talk about some fun stuff. I am so excited that it's Black History Month and I'm really so excited that uh, Sam from Blunts and Gems decided to do our event because um, like I said, I have been collecting all of these little stories and what have you just to um, bring awareness and not even bring awareness. What my goal was is for these little known figures or not talked about figures in Black history. I was trying to keep a little anthology and I started this when um, 
before my granddaughter did start at homeschooling, but it became me actively seeking out information during homeschooling um, so that I could provide the information. I'm like, wow, wouldn't it be nice if there was some book out that parents could use just you know to teach their kids so now that has not come to fruition not to say that it won't but this is an excellent start in a way for me to have this information in my fingertips you know when I do decide decide to start on that endeavor that being said I'm gonna go ahead and insert my first black history little known fact i don't know if it's a little known fact but a not um um widely celebrated black person in black history uh video clip right here and uh before i do that i want to tell you guys uh thank you for watching my channel thank you for being patient with me um as far as me starting my new job and not putting up content like I should have been over the last couple of weeks. Do all the YouTube uh, stuff, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this video. And I will catch you in the next one, which will probably uh, be a Black History short. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this. See you in the next video. I'm not going to say when. Bye-bye. In 1949, a woman by the name of Christina Jenkins, who was born in Louisiana, was working with a wig making company to consider an alternative way of attaching hair without the use of any heat or chemicals, but one that was quite secure as wigs tended to fall off customers' heads quite regularly. Hair extensions are widely used today for numerous reasons, the most common reason being to add length, volume, or color. These can be attached using different methods, the safest to date being the corn roll technique, which is commonly known as a weave, sew in weave technique. This is when the hair is plaited close to the scalp with or without the addition of hair to form a base to which wefts of hair are then attached. The hair is then cut, curled, flat ironed into the desired style. Christina developed the idea of attaching hair to a net to which was then sewn onto the client's cornrow base and thus evolved what Christina Jenkins refer referred to as hair weave. Christina patented her idea in 1951 and traveled worldwide to teach her technique. She started a training academy to which people came from near and far to attend. This technique has now transpired into years of experiment and redesign, which is now commonly known as the weave, microweave, sew-in weave. And there you have your first